Ahead of the budget session of the parliament, more than 400 parliament staff members were tested positive for COVID-19, according to official sources. 402 staff members were tested positive out of 1,409 staff of the parliament for the virus from January 4 to 8, after which their samples have been sent for genome sequencing to confirm the variant. According to an internal message from the staff of the parliament, the staff are advised to follow precautions as per the guidelines of the government. Several employees of both the houses of the parliament were put in isolation after they came in contact with their infected colleagues during work. Various officials of Lok Sabha and Rajya Sabha are also in isolation. Delhi CM Arvind Kejriwal tweeted today that he has recovered from COVID-19. Meanwhile, addressing a virtual press conference, Kejriwal said COVID-19 cases are rapidly rising. About 22,000 cases are expected in today's health bulletin. Increase in cases is concerning, but not to be scared. I am saying so after analyzing and comparing the data of the last wave. We don't have to impose lockdown. We won't if you wear masks. No intent for a lockdown as of now. Delhi Police's special cell has made his first arrest in the Sulidil app case. The accused Amukeshwar Thakur, who created the app, was napped from Madhya Pradesh's Indore. The IFSO unit of the special cell napped the person based on the questioning of Neeraj Bishnoi, the creator of Bully Bai app. Thakur confessed to the police that he created the Sulidil app on GitHub in July of 2021. Delhi's air quality improved from moderate category to satisfactory on Sunday, with the air quality index standing at 90 as the national capital city and its adjoining areas witnessed heavy rainfall and thunderstorm for two continuous days. As per the government agencies, the AQI between 0 and 50 is considered good, 51 to 100, satisfactory 101 to 200 moderate, 201 to 300 poor, 301 to 400 very poor and 401 to 500 severe. Prime Minister Narendra Modi will chair a high-level meeting to review the developing COVID-19 situation in the country at 4.30 p.m. on Sunday. The review meeting, which is expected to be attended by top health experts, comes as India witnessed a massive spike in daily COVID-19 cases triggered by the new Omicron variant of the coronavirus. An increase of 1,18,442 cases has been recorded in the active COVID-19 caseload in the span of 24 hours. Subscribe to One India channel and never miss an update.